Hedlund, Olivia Wilde, and Jeff Bridges, ladies and gentlemen. Each of you has a little chocolate kiss in front of you. Isn't that nice? That, what? Oh. And that's, those, that's, of course, a seat for Donnie. Um, so, uh, Jeff, the title, Tron Legacy. Yes. Tell us about the uh, title. Well, you know, if you guys are anything like me, I'd like to know as little about a film that I, I want to see as possible, so I'm not going to answer that in too much detail. Mm -hmm. But I will say it's uh, basically uh, a story about a uh, son's search for his father. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, the first the first Tron, when we made that, uh, what was it, Stephen, in 81, I feel like? Yeah. There was no, uh, there was no internet. There's nothing. Cell phones were these big things you carried around in a suitcase. You know? uh -huh. No personal computers or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, what you saw was so, uh, so new and, and fresh. And uh, I can guarantee that you're going to get that same kind of pop with this one. Everything is going to be, uh, you know, superized. Wow. Yeah. Superized. There you go. Nice. Um, so, Joe, last year you were the talk of Comic Con. You showed some footage uh, that I'm sure a lot of you have seen. What have you been doing now for the last 12 months? Well, uh, we just finished uh, our principal photography last week, so mm -hmm. we've been working very hard on uh, making Tron Legacy for the past year or so. Um, you know, it wasn't a hard movie to recruit people for. Everyone. Up here, all the uh, crew that was working on the movie was a big fan of the original that Steve did, so we we're all really excited mm -hmm. to be uh, working on uh, on this film, being part of kind of this great film legacy. Uh, you know, we've got another year, more than a year, of, uh, of work to still do on the movie, um, so there's not a lot to show yet in the world of Tron, but I did bring uh, a, a little, a couple of uh, concept images, a little sneak peek of what. Uh, you guys can expect Yeah, check this stuff out. It's really cool. I got to see this too, so. All right. So, um, any fan of the original movie remembers the Recognizer. It was one of the most uh, kind of iconic vehicles from the first movie. So this is a, uh, a little glimpse of what uh, the new version of the Recognizer looks like. Uh, the world of Tron has, um, has kind of evolved over the past 20 years. This isn't a film about the internet. Uh, the, the, the world of Tron has sat on a, on a server for 20 years, kind of evolving on its own, like the Galapagos. And uh, it's become more realistic, darker, uh, more visceral, more physical. And uh, this this vehicle is, is one that you'll see uh, in our world. Uh, here's another shot showing um, a recognizer flying over the city of Tron. You can see the scale has gotten much larger. Uh, we've got weather systems. It, it feels like a kind of photo real or photo surreal environment. There's another shot kind of coming into the, the middle of Tron City. And uh, a shot of a, uh, this is a, a shot of the mile high tower in the center of the city looking down. Uh, so this is another environment that we get to visit uh, during one portion of our film. Uh, we also have a scene where we go onto the streets of Tron City, so we get to see what it's like to be a program in this world. Uh, and of course, the gladiatorial games were a big part of the original film, so uh, one, uh, one game that we've continued to evolve is uh, Disc Wars. And um, here you can see a, a glimpse of a disc game tournament in progress. We've got uh, 16 combatants uh, playing simultaneously. It's like an NCAA kind of bracket tournament, except you get to watch all the matches happen simultaneously, and as the matches are won or lost, the boards actually recombine, forming larger and larger boards till you get to the finals, where the final two disc combatants uh, battle against each other on a giant, a giant board. Uh, this is a view inside kind of one of the disc courts. 
the goal is kind of combine the, uh, two of the sports from the first movie into one. So the goal is to uh, strike down your opponent with your disc um, or knock out the board under him, causing the kind of plunge and derez. Um, and in developing this, uh, developing the, uh, this little dark here. But here you'll see um, this is done without any sprung floor, no wires. This is a real athlete uh, doing a, a, a method of martial arts called loop kicking or tricking, uh, which we basically combined into our disc game. So this is just a kind of a glimpse um, in some of this test footage of the athleticism of the disc game and uh, what you can expect. Um, yeah, I can do that. I, I do that all the time. That's super easy for me. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, and we shot this all with.